Global Developments to Impact Sri Lanka Headlines Leading Indicator Says US May Be in Recession Record High Temperature Signals Climate Change Sri Lanka Rejects Change to the Southern Coast Sea Lanes A key indicator in the United States fell for the 15th month in a row, signaling that the world's largest economy may already be in recession. The leading economic index, a measure that anticipates future economic activity, declined by 0.7% in June to 106.1, dragged down by a weakening consumer outlook and increased unemployment claims. Impact on Sri Lanka From January to May of this year, exports to the United States, Sri Lanka's largest export market, fell to $1.1 billion, down 16% from a year earlier. Sri Lanka is banking on increased US consumer spending to boost its exports to solve the current balance of payments crisis. The World Meteorological Organization warns that there is no immediate respite in sight from this summer of extremes, bringing record high temperatures across three continents and heavy rains across the world. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, land and ocean temperatures have risen twice as fast since 1981. Higher temperatures worsen storms, heat waves, floods and droughts. Impact on Sri Lanka According to the World Bank, climate change will result in sea level rises, storm surges and coastal erosion in Sri Lanka, affecting its west, southwest and southern coastal belts. In July, Minister of Agriculture Mahinda Amanawira warned that there is a risk of destruction for 45,000 acres of paddy fields in the Hambantota district due to severe drought. Sri Lanka rejected a proposal by international non-governmental organizations to shift the country's shipping route to safeguard migrant whales. At a meeting of the International Maritime Organization, the NGOs said that a change to the shipping lane of Dondra Head to the south coast is needed to protect whales from being hit by ships. However, Captain Upul Piris, Director of Navigation, representing the government of Sri Lanka, rejected the presented data, noting that it is not in line with what the government possesses. Previously, Rohan Masakorala, CEO of Shippers Academy, told the Business Times, there have been only isolated incidents. By moving the TSS, there will be economic and financial impacts to the industry, which again will badly reflect in the struggling economy. And that's a wrap for this week. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest developments in Sri Lanka. Until next time, have a great day.